Hello, it's Jimmy here, the So I've got here a Ford Transit, uh, just doing a smoke test on it using the Launch UK Smoke 2. So we're trying to find an air leak. So this has had all of the hoses, boost hoses replaced. You can see down there, these are all brand new. It's had a new EGR valve, but it keeps coming up with airflow issues. Uh, smoke test is showing, let me just get better light down there. Injector four, injector three, Injector 2 and Injector 1. All uh, got air leaks. On the top of these injectors, to seal off the air from the inlet manifold, you've got rubber seals that go around. So all of the four injectors are going to need to be pulled out and have that replaced. See there, we've got smoke going through the engine. Put that back on. Now if we come back in to the fault codes, that we have for this, I'm going to show you mass airflow, airflow too high. Um, now, that is the only fault we can find is that the injectors are leaking, so I'm pretty sure that that's going to be the problem. Uh, this has done 114,000 miles for Transit Custom. Sorry, I didn't make the video from the start, it's, uh, it's just pissing down, so didn't really get a chance to. Uh, do the recording from the start but yeah it's had a lot of a lot of um, attempts at trying to repair the fault all of the boost hoses have been replaced airflow sensor uh, intake air temperature sensor the charge uh, sensor that goes on the intercooler EGR valve and various other bits and pieces have all been changed now initially when I was doing the smoke test I couldn't see any leaks I was expecting a boost hose but obviously they've, those have already been replaced and it didn't fix the problem we found the injectors after I took off the engine cover we found the door there leaking so I'm pretty sure that's going to be the problem you can see there's quite a big leak there it's just a low pressure smoke machine of course when the van is driving there's a lot more pressure coming through those cylinders so the leak is going to be a lot bigger now I'm not going to have time to do the repair on this today but we might see it back maybe sometime in the future so keep your eyes peeled so that's it it's just a diagnostic on this one and I'll see you on the next video Okay, we've got this Ford Transit back here. We've got some of the parts that we need to do the job, so I'm going to get it all stripped down. So I'm just removing the inlet air pipe and the airflow sensor. Open the air filter. this up remove the oil cap so we can get this engine cover off and just remove any pipes that are attached to it back in there put the oil cap back on okay we're just gonna unplug each of the injectors they're a bit stiff. Might need someone to persuade them out. So I'm trying to mount the camera on my chest there, but it's not giving you the right angle on it. So just try and hold it like I normally do. So now we're just removing these clips, taking out the first one. Just need to be careful when you're pulling them out because they will go flying. So just try and persuade them out here with a little pick tool. Just make sure you hold on it with your hand. Because if you pull it out and it does just suddenly come loose, it'll go flying and you will lose them. Now these injector leak offs, just get a little tool here under the green section there and just pull them out.
It's going to use a 17 mil to loosen off the fuel rails here. Now what I've done on this side is just loosen them a little bit so you can turn them to the side. This one doesn't want to turn, so try to loosen it a bit more. Here we go. Okay, so I've started removing some of the injectors. What I've done is just mark them up as one, two, three, and four. These are an eight mil on the clamp. So we get these open. Once they're loose, we can just undo that by hand. These injectors are never usually seized in. Usually don't need any special tools to get them out. You can usually just give them a wiggle and they do come out. Or you could use a little trim tool or a screwdriver to uh, just give it a little bit of persuasion. Not too much. saying that I might have to use something on them looks like but yeah they're moving so if you just give them a wiggle especially if you get both hands on there so you go just using my two hands we've got the clamp off this injector has popped loose now it's just this one there we go and number three has come out with the copper seal there can see that the rest of them the copper seal is sat at the bottom and we're just going to place these injectors in a little box there and then the last one number one so you can see now on these injectors that there is uh, these rubber seals you know so you got the copper seals right down the bottom and it does go into the cam cam uh, into the cam cover there so we'll just get all of these new seals put in, get these cleaned up as well. So we've got some of these tools here, injector seat, injector seal puller, sorry, and injector seat cleaner. This is just, uh, the seat cleaner is just an Amazon kit. It's not, it's not, no specific brand. This one's from Laser. Okay, so we're just gonna get this down to where the Injector seat is the injector, sorry, injector seal, copper one. It's going to give it a little twist so it grips it and then just knock it out. Hopefully, that's grabbed it the first time. Let's see. No, I'll try it a few more times. Now we've got those out, we're just going to use a camera to look at the condition of the cylinders. That's the number three. If we come over to number one, I've just cleaned this one out. Number two. Still got a little bit of oil in there. So I'm just using this attachment here from the kit. It's like a brush kit. Go down in number three there. And we'll just get that cleaned out. I'm just removing the rubber seals here. Just get a little pry tool, the same pry tool again that I'm using for almost everything. Just get it under there, pull them out. Just gonna wipe all the way around where the new seals are gonna sit here. Just wipe them all up. And we just put the new seals all back in. In this bag here we've got four new copper seals and four little o-rings for the leak off pipe that goes onto each injector there. So now again we just wipe up 
the injectors, a little bit of brake cleaner and just a bit of a rag and give them a wipe down. So now we've got all the injector seals fitted here, I'm going to get them put down in the engine. Let's just put it nice and steady so you don't catch it, knock the seal off. Now we've got all the injectors back in, I've got some new bolts here to put down on the clamps. Okay, so these bolts are now tightened down according to the data I'm looking at, it's 6 newton meters and 180 degrees. So now we just need to connect back up the fuel rails, fuel rail pipes here. Get all of these connected back up. Now we've got all of that back together, we have got our smoke machine back on here. It's been on for a few minutes now, just going to leave it on a little bit longer. You can see there the pressure is building up. And we have no leaks so far. Okay, back in the van, I'm gonna clear this fall code. We've got some other codes for the speakers, etc. So not really too worried about those. Clear all of those, then we'll take it on a test drive. So Test drive of about 10 miles, uphill, downhill, foot flat to the floor, and power is back, the van is driving excellent. That's it, after a test drive, no DTCs found. That's it, so the van's all fixed after he's had so many repairs trying to get that solved. We've uh, finally solved it for him there, and see you on the next video.